Are you ready for a wonderful story? One that is filled with hope, with strength, with inspiration, and with enthusiasm. Welcome to The Author Show. I'm Danielle Hampson. Fida Abbott is the author of Enthusiasm, a story that will bring the best out of you. Welcome to the show, Fida. Thank you, Danielle. Fida, without giving us uh, too much, can you give us a little bit, a, a, a bit of a synopsis of your book, Enthusiasm? Yeah, a uh, synopsis of my book, Enthusiasm, is about how I wrote uh, a novel based on my own stu- true story with my second language in English. And then I threw the process, it's not easy, uh, you know, I faced the obstacles, but I have faith, and then I have enthusiasm that I could reach that. I could read my dream. So what inspired you to write it? I read an uh, announcement uh, about the novel contest, novel writing contest. And I thought, hmm, it's very interesting. I would like to try. But I thought, what kind of the time I would like to write? Because if uh, it will be, uh, I need to think a lot, and then I need to imagine a lot. And I thought, I think it's better I will write about my, you know, based on my own true story about my writing life. Then there you go, I <laughs> wrote Enthusiasm. Well, the title is always a very important part of any book. So how did you decide on this particular title, Enthusiasm? Actually, the first title is not Enthusiasm. Uh, another title, but because of the other reason, then I changed about intuition and then I thought that will be fit to put in my book uh, because it, it's how that book tells the story about itself when I wrote that book. What was the most challenging part for you in writing Enthusiasm? I faced uh, several obstacles, you know, I have to find the right time. Uh, to write and then my husband start shock because his wife spending more, more time in front of the computer screen <laughs> to write and then also my my little daughter always bothered me when I was writing and then of course writing in the second language it's not an easy step. No indeed it's very difficult but the so you wrote in English you, what's your original language by the way? My original uh, language is Indonesian. Okay, so writing in English, yeah, definitely is a little bit of a challenge. But what is a, you, you must have a message in your book. What is that message, the central message that is? Yes, the central message is <clears throat> uh, when you would like to reach something in your life, you, have, you must have enthusiasm. And that's why I present this book that enthusiasm play a vital role in my, my writing life. Now again, going back to languages, English is your second language and Indonesian is your first one. Has your book been translated in Indonesian or in any other language for that matter? Yeah, this is very interesting. When I start to connect with my network via Facebook and then I start to blog and then to promote my book. And <clears throat> finally, I met the Indonesian publisher, coincidentally, from my other friends. And then they read my book, they said this book is great. And then they thought that book will be very, very influenced for the young writer to pursue their career in writing work. So they, they sent the email. And they said that we would like to publish your book in Indonesia. And well, that's wonderful. And how did your interest in writing originate anyway? Well, I loved writing when I was a child. I started to write uh, my first teenager uh, short story when I was 13 years old. And then I started to write poems. And then finally, my writing activity improved when I was in senior high school and just stopped right away when I was in the college because so many homework in the college and then finally coincidentally that desire appeared when I moved to United States and I started a new blog and I kept 
blogging and blogging and blogging and then I send my articles to other online media and many readers said they got inspired with my writing so I have so many compliments from my readers and then I thought to my husband I think I should write a book <laughs> get inspired with my writing so my husband said yeah why not just start so I thought that because I was a beginner and then I thought I will start with the simple one so I start uh, wrote uh, a book for the children entitled what prayer does mommy teach me and then the next a book is I collect all my poems that I wrote in English and Indonesia and I give the title uh, Dancing in My Work. And then I continue again. <laughs> I was crazy at that time, right, right, right. <laughs> I continue with my cookbook. Uh, I give the title Amerindo Kitchen in, in, in series. So that's the series in cookbook. Then finally, my desire to write a novel happens at that time, then I start this is the right time I write the novel. So now you are self-published. What do you do in terms of your marketing strategy to get the word out of for your book? Yeah, this is very interesting. Actually, my husband has a job. When the first time I said I wanna write a novel and I wanna start this, this is my first for my writing career. My husband was so nervous. What are you going to do for market? So I thought I have blog. Why I don't use it for maximum? And then I start to maximize my networking in Facebook. And I make the contest, review, and photo contest for my book. And uh, I start to connect with many people, many bloggers. And then <clears throat> I joined with bookshops internationally, nationally, and regional, local. And also I had an idea to join with the contest. Then I won. So thanks God, I won Pinnacle Book Achievement Award last year for spring. What was the award that you got? The book award uh, in the novel category yeah in the last spring and then <clears throat> from there uh you know i I'm, I'm sure that winning the award is very good for my book marketing value and uh i also make media press kit online and print it and then i open for everybody who would like to invite me for speaking engagement and do the book signing so where can we find this particular book enthusiasm you can find enthusiasm my book at amazon actually breeze barney and noble borders and reader stores and may maybe other online stores and one message for indonesian readers because my book will be published soon in Indonesia, you can find my book in many Indonesian stores from east to west. And because I, we still, I still don't know when will be really, so I would like to invite you to connect with me at my Facebook or just subscribe to my blog at www ebotbooks.com or www.fidaebotblogspot.com Fida, thank you very much for sharing your time with us today. You're welcome, Daniel. It's pleased to have you. Enthusiasm. We cannot live a lifetime without it. So treat yourself to a little bit more to it. Go get the book. I'm Daniel Hampson. Be well, stay informed, pick up a book today and read.